What's going on guys, my name's Matt. I'm gonna be helping you automate your fitness business and I am recording this for the second time because I didn't record my audio the first time. So let's get started. Uh, hopefully this one will be a bit quicker because the previous one was too long. So um, what is most important about when you sign up a client and when you're training, like you're training people online is getting them results, right? We all know that. Getting them results faster is what's gonna make you have a better business. You're gonna get more referrals. People are gonna know you better as the guy who actually gets results or the girl or the gym. Um, when it comes to speeding up this process with Go High Level, there is a ton of things we can do. I'm gonna go over five things specifically today that uh, you can do to speed up your uh, clients getting results. The first thing is how to streamline your bookings. So what you wanna look at doing here is if you have a, like a free resource or like a, an inquiry page, uh, like one of these here, I will show you in a second, you want to get, be get no, getting notified that someone has either booked in or scheduled with you or downloaded a, a free resource immediately. So that you can call them, even if they're booked in a call, um, and pretty much say to them, hey, uh, fantastic that you've booked in a call, super excited for you to get started, can I ask you a couple of questions before we go? Or if they've downloaded a high value content offering, saying, hey, thanks for downloading my calorie calculator. I'm super excited for you to use it. Um, can I help you get it set up? So you are getting in touch with them and you're starting the conversation so early that you know, they uh, are like, oh my God, this guy's so serious. Like he's, he's taking, my, um, taking my application really seriously. He's super excited to work with me, whatever. You're not gonna annoy people, trust me. So many coaches, online, um, online coaches and gyms, I've you know, a applied for them before or like I, I know my clients who have done this before um, and you know, it takes a week for them to come in and see you or um, takes like four, five, six days to actually get on a call or you have a wait list or something ridiculous, right? Um, if you have an, a business, you need to be able to accept people and get them started fast. This is where it starts. So if you have an example, a really terrible web page here, um, but this is a replica of a high value content offering, right? You have a first name, email, phone number. Whenever someone fills this out, you need to be getting told straight away. <clears throat> so if we have a look at this here, uh, in our automation, I've got some examples here that I just built in the previous automation, but I'll run through them. Um, and we've got HVCO download. You wanna, one, deliver the content offering to them as fast as possible, tag them with calorie calculator or whatever your, your um, high value content offering is, and then you want to send a message to yourself saying you've got a client. Now, I could say that you could um, use a bunch of different notification methods. You could email yourself, send yourself Slack, send yourself a Discord, whatever. Um, I think SMS is best because you're gonna get a message straight away that there's a new client. It is so simple to set up. So once you have the form submitted at the top here, you add the tag, you know, calorie calculator, if that's your high value content offering. Um, your SMS is gonna be the delivery of the asset or you can just redirect them from this page. When they hit submit, they get it straight away. Um, and then your internal notification is HVCO lead, contact name, contact phone. Now, the reason why I am only doing this information here is because when you are you know, getting a lot of leads and um, there, there will be a day it, it comes, um, if you're not already, uh, if, when you are getting heaps of these leads, you know, these messages will, will be going off left, right and center, especially if you go viral or something like that. Um, and when you send text messages inside Go High Level, not every text message is the same. The billing is worked out in segments. So I think it's like 14 characters, might, might be more, might be 28. Um, but the, the billing is not the same. So if you send a message that is like this long, it's gonna be significantly more expensive than sending a message that is that long. Keep that in mind, you know, when, when you're building your workflows. So when you get <clears throat> someone inquire, HVCO, message your business, call them straight away. It is super simple, you will notice a significant close rate increase. Cool. Uh, one other thing that I will mention um, about your you know, bookings, uh, and it looks like I've got this a, a few times, so just bear with me, but uh, one thing I wanna get into is your high value content offering. Having a calorie calculator is fine. It's not gonna generate you that many leads. Let's be really honest, people have used them, people have gone to you know, how to lose weight and then a calorie calculator comes up straight away. They've put in their detail, pardon me, they put in their details and it's never worked. It is probably not gonna get you the best quality leads. However, if you work with a certain niche, <clears throat> say if you work with men over 40 who use training to deal with stress, or you know who wanna increase their vitality, or um, need to lose weight because their doctor said so, um, you can create a PDF like how to lose weight if you are a pre-diabetic man, um, or how to reduce stress by training in the gym. These kind of things, 
are so like tailored to the person. They're like, oh, this is meant for me, right? If you work with postpartum mums, um, how to rebuild your pelvic floor, how to you know train whilst you have a kid, um, list of gyms in your area that have um, like daycare so you can go to the gym whilst your kid's looked after. Those kind of things are what those people need, right? They really need those things. It's not just a how to lose weight. It's just so much better. So when it comes to your content offering, you are gonna get faster results with your clients because when they get on your call, uh, they will have seen that content offering and said, this guy already knows what he's talking about. Because when it comes to selling, it's about trust, right? Do they trust you're gonna get them the result? And if you can say to them and speak directly to their problem, they are going to trust you more than if you just gave them a calorie calculator. The best thing is if you have people who get on a sales call with you and say, oh, I've been following you for a couple of days. I saw your um, free resource. It spoke directly to me and you know, I, I knew you were the guy to help me. Um, instead of being, someone getting on a call and be like, yeah, I followed you for six months. I thought it was finally time that I jump on a call. Um, yeah, I've downloaded your assets and they were good, but I just really haven't been able to stick to anything, right? They, those people just haven't, they're not convinced, right? And they're gonna be hard sell and whatever. The people who see your content, know it's for them, speak directly to them, go for it. Like if you are like watching my content and you are an online coach or a gym and you wanna automate your business, you know that I'm gonna be the person who's gonna do it. Like there are the automation people out there, but do they all do fitness? Probably not. Um, do they understand this? Probably not. <laughs> anyway. Um, so high value content offering, be super specific. It's gonna get you faster results, faster sales, and your clients are gonna get faster results. Uh, cool. Booked calls. When it comes to um, actually getting these calls booked, if you admit to yourself that you are not the best person to answer the message that I was talking about here, so you know, internal message goes off um, and you know you wanna call them straight away, but you're like training in person, you're running the gym, you've got a team, whatever. We train people in a different country. I'm gonna let you in on the biggest secret in the fitness industry, uh, in any online business, is VAs. A VA is a virtual assistant. If you go to Philippines, uh, onlinejobs.ph, onlinejobs.philippines, you can go to this website here, which will give you a list of highly qualified, highly intelligent people who will work for you at a cheaper rate. It's just what it is. So if you are looking for, uh, looking for work, search jobs, what we can do here is type in lead generation, right? This person will be able to jump into your go high level. You can set that message up to go, um, oh, I searched the wrong thing, uh, searched in the wrong field. You can set them up to then be your, um, your point of contact for your leads. So if you get a message saying that you have a new lead and Shenna jumps in because uh, Shenna's working whilst you're training, um, and replies and says, hey, my name's Shenna, I'm, a, uh, I'm, you know, I'm the coaching assistant here at uh, yourgym.com. Um, just wanted to ask a couple of questions about your application before I get you scheduled for a call is now a good time for a chat. They get on chat, they chat, whatever. Um, one thing that you might be saying is, is their English good? Um, do they have accent, all that kind of stuff? Admittedly, sometimes the English isn't great. Um, but the written English is great. So you know you just have to go through a couple of interviews and find someone who's a good fit for you. At the end of the day, having this is gonna be better than not having it, right? So long as they're clear and you know they have a goal, which is get them <clears throat> scheduling calls for you. That way, you don't have to worry about you know calling the person straight away, making sure you're doing the reminders. All of that kind of stuff is taken care of. It's gonna cost you about four or five dollars an hour. It's negligible. Cool. Next step is onboarding call and actual onboarding, right? So I built, it, I built another workflow in the previous video and I'll just go through it here, but I'm gonna go through it with you now. Do you need an onboarding call? Do you not need an onboarding call? If your information and your onboarding is so succinct that you can get someone training without needing to have a conversation with them, an additional conversation with them, don't have an onboarding call. If you are a prep coach, strength coach, a uh, powerlifting coach, a strongman coach, a uh, like specific uh, dietitian, something like that, have an onboarding call. It's probably better for you to get, your, get to know your athletes better anyway. So what you're gonna do in your onboarding, so sta stage uh, trigger is the sales uh, pipeline and the sale made sent contract. So when the onboarding actually instigates, you're gonna have a message that goes out to them straight away that says, uh, hey, name, hey, Matt, super excited for you to get started. Step one, fill out this contract. Oops, 
Uh, step two, fill out this onboarding form. Step three, wait for onboarding email from Trainerize. Step four, reply to coach in Trainerize. Step five, confirm your program and macros with coach via message in Trainerize, right? You are outlining every specific step that they need to work with you post sale. If you do this, people will get onboarded and ready to go so much quicker, you'll be so surprised that you know, you're training them the next day. What you then do in this, uh, in this process is have follow-ups. If you think follow-ups were just for pre-sale, they are not, they are for post-sale as well uh, because people are inherently lazy. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna have a, a, a message that's an hour later and then a follow-up saying, how did you go? Super simple. Now you can have as many follow-ups as you like in here because what's gonna happen is when they complete their onboarding and you shift them to onboarded in your CRM, uh, it will kick them out of this, this workflow and I'll show you how to do that now. So if you did wanna have a, um, a call, you would just in this SMS here, you would say, you know, uh, step, oops, step uh, six, book your onboarding call here, www.call.com, right? That's all you need to have. You can deliver that by email. Um, it's gonna be less engaged if someone, if you do do it via email, um, but SMS is usually pretty good. You can even send it from WhatsApp if you use WhatsApp um, on Go High Level, which if you didn't know, you can do it. <clears throat> and then what you have is your completed onboarding. So when someone actually does complete their onboarding, what happens next? You go into here and you set your pipeline stage to completed or whatever you have, and then you remove them from that previous workflow. So you add the remove work, remove from workflow step and you select another workflow and then you select the example onboarding that I had, right? The reason you do that is so they don't get pestered with follow-up messages, it looks really unprofessional and they look like, it looks like you're not on top of your shit. That's what you wanna do. All with the goal of people training faster. Now training faster, again, this in Go High Level is a bit of a stretch, like for you to think of how can someone train faster inside Go High Level, I'm gonna explain. What you do when you are onboarding someone, you want to have the grunt work for this done as much as possible via automation. It doesn't matter if you take on five new clients a week or 500 new clients a week. You want to automate as much of it as possible because there is no way you're going to be able to scale if you don't. So if looking at this here, if you know that you use Trainerize, right? And Trainerize is very popular. It has a Zapier functionality, no code, um, automation platform, it's super easy for you to use. You want to link Go High Level and Zapier together. The way that you do that is very, very simple. So in our onboarding, now this is a little bit um, more complicated than just the standard contract and whatever. Uh, so I'm gonna go through it a little bit, but I'm not gonna go into too much detail. If you wanna go into detail and work with me on it, then we can jump in and, and have a chat. Um, just follow the link below. When you have uh, the onboarding stage where it's time to actually get them signed up to a program or get them created in Trainerize at the very minimum, what you want to do is a webhook. So if we go into Go High Level and we type in webhook, this one here, we are going to send their information to a webhook via Go High Level. Basically, what a webhook is, it is you just sending information to a different part of the internet. That's it, the other part will catch it. So in this situation, you would go into Zapier. Let me just have a look. We can create a zap. And our trigger event would be webhook, because the thing that's going to instigate this is a webhook, right? And then we're going to catch a webhook. And we'll press continue, you can skip this next part. And when you go to test, it's actually gonna give you a URL. You're gonna copy this and then you're going to paste it inside URL here. So save action, and then when you save this and test this, it will fire off, and you'll